hello good people of the internet more the data guys here today i am going to cover how to build d365 finance and operation agents with land graph and model contacts protocol as we already have d365 finance and operation mcp server we will utilize that to build this agent in addition we will use tools from mcp server and use custom tools to complement the functionality to download ssrs reports let's dig in okay i have this uh, python notebook that uh, we will cover and it's uh, available in github i will put the link in the video description as well so first of all we are going to do test different models so i have implemented the functionality you can use open ai google ai or azure open ai models but this video is uh, using google ai then we will connect with the d365 using mcp a client and then we will develop a custom tool that will download ssrs reports and save them as pdf this tool will use the functionality from the mcp server Be before we do that you need to have access to d365 environment and client secret client id and tenant id plus you need to have the uh, api key to your ai provider that you are going to use okay so first uh, we have this import to get the password or api keys so this is for open ai if you want to use that you can run this cell this is for google ai if you want to use google ai you can run this cell and the model i am using is gemini 2.5 flash and this is one for azure ai and if you have a hosted model in azure ai foundry you can use this cell and change the model you want to use over here and run this cell okay we have a very simple system prompt you are a d365 document download age assistant and uh, your task is to help user find uh, assistance using the Microsoft Dynamics 365 finance and operation tools and resources. Very simple prompt, nothing fancy. So this is uh, the one client ID, client secret and tenant ID we need for uh, to connect with the D365 environment. And this is where we have our uh, MCP client setup. So th this is very similar to what we have in uh, other clients such as cloud desktop or uh, visual studio code so i am using docker and i'm providing all of my parameters and the image and uh, a volume where we will store the metadata and other configurations and then provided the client id client secret and tenant id i executed this we got our 43 tools then let's test in this cell what we are doing is traversing all the tools and finding test connection tool and then at the end we are also executing it so the result of first we see the tools description name description and uh, other information plus this one is connection test connection test was successful so we can invoke these tools uh, with this because this is a land graph so they have invoke and a invoke asynchronous invoke and we can use those to invoke these tools so with that we are also uh, this cell is finding call action tool and uh, we have d365 call action tool found this is a payload to download a a pdf a customer invoice pdf over here we are testing this tool if it's going to work or not so it did work with these and this is the string for the pdf report we have and again this is uh, the tool from mcp so we are not writing developing anything just testing how to invoke that 
Now the fun begins over here where we are going to develop our own custom tool which will use the D365 call action. So this is uh, how we develop tools. This is one of the ways we can develop tools with the lang graph and lang chain. So first we need uh, a, a schema and uh, as uh, you can see I have break it down to the uh, minimum requirement we need to download a PDF and it's very generic we can use for different controllers uh, such as uh, sales confirmation, customer um, statements, purchase order confirmation, free tax invoices there. So we define our schema then we define our function this is where we implement the logic and as you can see all of the parameters we defined in the schema uh, in the model we have in the function so this is what uh, LLM will see what it need to do with all this information uh, to what it need to generate to call this uh, tool tool description with this information so this is very standard we are building the payload this is where actual fun is we already saw this in call so we build our uh, payload and invoke the tool what it will return is a string so we will convert that to json and rest is uh, just extracting the value and saving it as a file at the given path and generate the file name as well so at the end we have to define a tool and this is a, because it's an async function we will use a structure tool dot from function and create our tool this is just to print the information about the tool see if it is okay now we can download our PDFs and there is some information what we have now you can build a uh, other controllers for other documents and table and field name so this is just calling that uh, new tool we created with the parameters and then we can see it did store this pdf file on this path plus it print there is a print statement that is printing the parameters next is the fun actually starts from here so to create the agent it's very simple we will import create agent from langchain.agents and we will give our model just that because uh, we can switch models on runtime even but right now we we provide our model plus the tools and our new tools all of those tools we are providing it and system prompt so first to vibe check I asked it what can the d365 agent do for me so it came back with it. and then I have these uh, pretty printed these uh, uh, messages and I'm only printing messages from tools and AI because we already know human message so it did came back with this message it actually covers if you see a uh, metadata and uh, schema exploration data integration interaction environment and profile management metadata synchronization label management system and performance uh, document download so all of those tools categorized and it did a good summary for that now we this is a, a I'm asking list of F, F and O profiles so this is where actually we are going to invoke a tool so with this pretty print we can see the first message is from AI and it generated a tool call list profiles with no arcs because this tool does not have any arc then tool actually a, the framework called the tool and this is tool message and we can see it has all that uh, details let me scroll a little bit up and uh, so we can see it so tool get there is one profile it provided all the information and then AI used that information and generated this. I found the following F and O profile default. This is the URL. Is there anything else I can help you with regarding these profiles? So tools are working. We we saw that one. The next one is test connection, and we can see AI generated a tool called test connection. 
and uh, the then tool actually generated status true which means test is successful so next one is uh, get environment information so this one let me scroll this first so this one with the tool call is generated and then this is the output we can see it's a big json output about everything about the environment and ai actually summarize and at the end they use that data to summarize this how many data entities and labels and everything okay this is all the usual stuff now let's see how we can use our uh, new tool so i asked it to download uh, customer invoice number this from legal entity us ms mf it called the uh, so this is what it came back we can see first ai generated a tool call with the right parameters and then tool actually executed and created this uh, file and returned the path at the end act the tool uh, ai actually said customer invoice this for legal entity usmf has been downloaded to this path so this is uh, uh, how uh, the new tool is added into the mix and it's being used so next uh, i asked it to do download five um, recent invoices for legal entity usmf using data entity cust invoice journey bi entities data entity and then download invoices i i also added this a little bit more get the entity schema using a custom invoice gen bi entity entity name to build the query parameter too much entity 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 okay so this is interesting we saw there is a five uh, five calls so if we see it first call the schema get entity schema with our name in it include properties so that is uh, by default rule and uh, let me click that so we can see all the output so first was the uh, schema call and it got the all the fields and there is a lot of fields in this uh, bi and we can keep scrolling up so this came back with the that i think we should add the total number of fields in this uh, output as well which will be helpful okay for the next version by the way this tool is going to be part of the mcp server uh, uh in the next release like the download pdf will be the part of uh, uh, mcp server but i want to show how you can use m tools from mcp server to complement the functionality because there is always something you missing or we need more control okay so next up i generated a, a another tool call which is a uh, query entities with these parameters data area id this the entity name this select two fields invoice id and invoice date i like that because it did not bother to bring anything else just two fields and top five order by uh, invoice date descending because re because of our based on our query it did understand that okay i need to do this okay so that's that then tool actually get called by the framework and we see our data so we have invoice id date invoice id date and then ai use that information uh, to generate uh, another like an other five tool calls which is download ssr as ssr actually it's a single s download srs document okay so with the parameters and we can see it's a loop so a kind of loop and it's generated five tool calls with different uh, document id and those are all uh, got called and we see our pdfs downloaded at this path and at the end it generated a summary so this is a, a because i'm using google ai so this message is uh, somewhat uh, from their uh, api the way they structured it so i have downloaded five most recent invoices for legal entity invoices these 
and it has that summary. So this is a, how we can use LangChain with our own AI models from our favorite or whatever available providers and uh, you develop custom agents. As I mentioned, the download uh, PDF will be part of the MCP server in next release. However, we will build upon this to explore our uh, uh, local AI, like local hosted models in next video. That will be interesting because local models are very small models usually, especially the ones I can operate on. So we will see what we can achieve with local AI. Until next time, be awesome. Thank you very much.